Hello and welcome to episode 271 of the Drive the Green podcast. I'm your host, Matty B. Joined in studio by Bro and Al Harvin Knoop. On this episode, we recap Brooks Kepka's fifth career major at the PGA Championship. Um, he's all the way back after his many struggles uh, over the past couple of years. We're going to dive well into that. We're going to also um, talk about our weeks as we always do. We're getting closer to the Elkridge Player Cup. We're also, uh, I think Knoop did a... A preview for a live event i think they're back this week yep uh so yeah and i'm not even sure where the pga is at because i'm still on the pga hangover so pga championship hangover pga tour you mean the charles schwab that's challenge? right yes charles, charles schwab. schwab challenge that's right uh invitational invitational or? maybe uh i'm sure it's CFC. i'm sure it's not important uh <laughs> <laughs> it is uh hot in the studio tonight like really hot yep. uh I'm mm. s- soaked already, wearing a long sleeve shirt again. But it was for the bugs. I was outside prior to this. Knoop's got his Panthers jersey on. I'm um, boiling that, right now. Nice to see you uh, took it out of the bag. <laughs> hey, he ironed out all the wrinkles from uh, Stephen uh, getting Weiss it today. <laughs> Stephen, but here's the thing: <laughs> if you, you <laughs> if you were if you were buying a fresh jersey and you didn't want anyone to know. Wouldn't Stephen Weiss be one of the ones <laughs> that you would get? Yeah. That's a very good point. Just you know where I mean? do you get it from? That's the thing. Yeah. Well, China. Well, you just got it made. Where you get it You all just got it made. Yeah. It's like, okay, first That's I got it. Well, maybe an Ole Jokinen. Maybe <laughs> yeah. Ole well, we were talking Ole about Leonard. it before you got here, Harv. We were saying John Van Beesbrook, Joe Wilcop. Like, you yeah. just got to yeah. push yourself back a few years. Vibere. Yeah. So, <laughs> good for you anyway. Uh, congratulations <laughs> on the thank you. 3 0 lead. <laughs> Uh, we're also watching Denver hopefully close out the the Lakers here. Well, they, you guys, they were gonna win this game. It's over. Wow, Harv. Uh, yeah. Right. So, I'm lots to talk over about. A new leaf in that regard. We'll get to it later. But yes. Oh, okay. Uh, but before we get into all that, we want to thank our sponsors, Player Golf, PLYRGolf.com. Use the promo code Drive the Green. Uh, or if you're a PGS member, you know what your code is. So, uh, mm-hmm. just one last time to give the listeners a little taste that if you sign up for a pull, full membership with uh, Prairie Golf Society, you get a fifty dollars player gift card. Yeah, in a time where they just launched an entirely new set of products, yep. probably. I mean, kind of seems like a no brainer, but anyway. And I think shirts on the 29th, Last I saw. Uh, yeah, polos, like so I, I guess polos are coming here. I think a week from today. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you're right, Bruno. Uh, yeah, I just Jokic just made an absolutely unbelievable shot. Ah, and here I was looking over <laughs> to my left and not to my right. <laughs> Uh, we're also members of Team Callaway. Got a couple of rounds in. Uh, my paradigm's dialed now. Yeah, you were lights out this you morning with that thing. Got a unbelievable uh, hard play today. morning golf this yeah. morning and wasn't bad. I yeah, mean, other than hard. it, other than it being absolutely freezing and yeah. completely useless to we'll golf in the that. morning, but freezing. We'll get there. The app said it was 16 degrees. Yeah, it it certainly was not. Yeah. The app was incorrect. Yeah, this smoke <laughs> couldn't been wrong. Messing everything up. Yeah. Same thing at the lake all weekend. The truck. Was saying like 18 degrees and it like felt like six. Yeah. Uh, is your mic on, Harv? Uh, yeah. Okay. Be. Okay. Just got to talk and do it, I guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> last but not least, we're members of uh, the Churchill family. Uh, Lawmores is always uh, tastes just as good. Really good <laughs> like really good. Might nice have to. Heat. Hopefully, those other ones get cold real quick. They are. <laughs> yeah. Who would have thought we needed 12 in the fridge for tonight's episode <laughs> instead of just regular six? Think how good uh, the Pilsers would taste. Yeah, they'd be, they'd be all right. Uh, I can't week. remember who yep. asked me this past week. Um, they said they had um, a Churchill at a at a bar or something. It was on tap, and it wasn't Lawnmower, but they couldn't remember which one it was. I said it's got to be Pilsner or Blonde. They couldn't remember which one. So and it bothered them. Yeah. Bothers me. I think they're t- they're tough to. I, I would think that person really dialing on Blonde being on tap. I would say the same. Yeah. I think that person yep. was mistaken. I, I just don't think they knew what they were talking about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyways, um, you know this person? Yeah, anyways, before we get into the PGA <laughs> Championship, obviously our weeks included watching lots of it. Um, but let's talk about what else happened. Um, I'll go first because mine did not have much. Um, played golf twice this week. Other than that, like, F all. Like, not a thing. Just we're in... We're in full. Is Jokic doing it again? Yeah, oh, he no, is. That was the replay. Step back. Oh, that w- that was the shot. Um, yeah, like nothing, nothing. Didn't have much of a reason to to booze. Like no events, nothing. Hmm. 
Nice of uh, you to get two rounds in this week. Yeah, though. so uh, that's, a hu- that's a huge week. Well, yeah. it was Thursday, so opening week, two weeks ago. I went, what, Monday, Thursday? And then not again until this Saturday. Yeah. So it was uh, se- s- nine yeah. days off. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Bronel uh, joined me, three generations of my family, my son and my dad, uh, for a round. It was good. Uh, I started two under through three, and then the wheels came off. Yeah. And then today was... Opposite. Two over through those same three holes and uh, managed to mix in four more birdies. So um, I that was it. Didn't do anything. So fast. We might uh, this might be sub hour if I'm only taking three minutes of my week. Yeah. Uh, only eight drinks this week, and I think five of them, if I'm not mistaken, were during that round with you. I only had three, but uh, yep, five. I had oh. two Caesars and three beers. Oh, yep. nice, interesting. Uh, eight fifty nine for the month and three oh eight on the year. And I'm at four rounds, and I had six birdies in two rounds. So I'm at nine, nine birdies in four rounds. That's not bad. Wow, that's yeah, real that's good. High for you. That's very yeah. high. Wildly high. <laughs> <laughs> that's your real voice. Is that sustainable. That's wildly <laughs> high. Uh, yeah, it's not sustainable. No. Nope. Uh, but if if it is, if, look out at Elkridge. Hopefully, yeah. my partner Rich is listening to this. Big, yeah, big things coming. That driver yeah. stays straight. Yeah. Look out. That's eh? something. Yeah. Uh, I'll go. Not a whole ton, similar to Matty B. Uh, still unpacking things, but now I'm getting told to do other things before we do unpacking. So, well, probably because accent wall probably because yesterday. it shouldn't take you a month well, to unpack. Uh, yeah, there's lots of. I shit guess if you stop going on trips, you'd have <laughs> yeah, all this stuff that's unpacked. True. So accent walls yeah. and like all this other jazz. So, um, I'm fine. I'm just gonna build it. I am not painting it. That's not my department. I don't do any of that stuff. But the big thing that I want to talk to you guys about, I need your opinion on this. So we've been in our house for, I think it's four weeks actually today. If someone left something at their, at your house, your new house saying, Hey, I'll come back this coming weekend to pick it up. Like the first weekend? Yes. Because it was frozen in the ground. It's theirs forever. Forever. Yes. Frozen in the ground. What? So they what left their it? they left their trampoline in the backyard, which is. Fine. I was just going to say was frozen I in the knew, ground. I knew where this yeah. was going. I it was, was frozen one, in wondering the if he was going to mention they that said, it was like yes, a trampoline. Or we something. are we are coming back on the weekend to pick it up when it kind of thaws out and and we can get it out. Yeah, cool, fine. No mention. They've sent things to our house that have just like been from before. They've come pick those up. No mention of coming to pick this trampoline up. So it's just sitting. Okay, so I, that thing. I should clarify. You sell that thing. I wouldn't sell it, but I would 100% use it. Like I wouldn't oh, I'm, say. I'm not setting mine up until that thing's gone. Yeah, no, but that's what I'm saying. It's not yours. Whenever they no. come and get it, it's theirs, but I would continue to use it. I think there's a statute limitation. See, that's here. where I'm getting at. Like, like what is like, the statute here? There is no statute one, limit. So yeah, yeah so but this one is that thing. this one is infinitely better than ours. Oh, oh yeah, it's one of those black ones, those nice ones. Yeah, like the curve and the springs underneath. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm selling the one you have <laughs> and keeping that. But See, that's the thing where I'm is, at. they could always come get that one. You sell that one, you're like, hey. That was that was the only reason why I say that you selling it is better than just keeping it until yeah. they come and get it, because then. They're, they probably not, they're probably not. They're probably not taking. They're probably not. Okay, we've been asking you yeah. to come get this for months. Yeah, they sold it. Sorry. What do you yeah, yeah, do? Well, fair. I mean, they would take you to small claims court. Sure. But for what? is it worth it? The worth, like, yeah. the amount of a trampoline? Yeah. I mean, essentially, they I would say I would say 100% yeah. don't sell it. Oh, I'm not going to sell it. Um, I'm just saying, like, it. yeah. Put that up as a poll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we know we'll what it'd be because everyone, everyone would just say sell it. But in that situation, no one would actually sell. It. You wouldn't even sell. It. You'd say <laughs> it, but you wouldn't actually do it. Well, I th- have you texted them and been like, "When are you picking this up?" No, they. That's what so I'm so saying. Continue in, to use it until they come back yeah, and get it. Because they've be come a- and picked things up from our house again that they have sent to our that have come to our current house, and they have not mentioned when they're coming to pick this trampoline up or anything, and it's just been crickets. There is yeah, a chance that they like just say one to three more times. Be like, yeah, hey, trampoline. You, if you, you, there is a chance that you just text them and say, "Hey, come get your trampoline," they're like, "No, keep it." True, but if I don't say anything, maybe they just forget about it. It is funny that I know these people. I know they have a new house, so it's like, yes, probably sh- now that they have a new house. Yeah, they're not living trampoline. in a condo where they <laughs> yeah. can't take it. Yeah, right. 
I don't this know. True. I think you just like text them and ask. Yeah. Like, I, hey, I don't have their number. Come get get this, to the bottom. I, or I'm yeah. I got it. I got their number. You want me to text them? I don't care. <laughs> come get this or I'm <laughs> just selling leave it. That's <laughs> simple. That way it solves either way. Yeah. They either come the text it, will solve it. Yeah. <laughs> you put yeah. up your trap. Is it you want it or not? It is funny that we went through this hypothetical and it's like, you know what? We could probably just find out. You can't be jumping to conclusions. You just we almost had I almost have to send this text right now so we get an answer live. Well, that's a great idea. <laughs> uh, anything else in your uh, week? No, that's, man? that's been about it. Um, mm-hmm. uh, we did have a guy walk in to our house last night. I think he was there to party with the current or our ex yep, people. Yep, that makes sense. Um, so that was kind of Can't fun. jump on the trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Like you I mean, what time did he, did he knock on the door yeah, and say, like I'm here for the gangbang? 8.30, he just yeah. walked in the door. Yeah. Walked in, like closed yeah, he's it. there for the party. <laughs> Ring the doorbell. I go to answer. He's like, ah, I think I'm in the wrong place. See, I'm not the only one that doesn't know that you live there. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's been about it for the week, other than a lot of golf, actually. So I played four times. <laughs> <laughs> played uh, played four rounds uh, this past week. So 16 birdies uh, gives me 38 on the year. Uh, five drinks, so fairly slow week, which is, which is always good with uh, Elkridge coming up. Uh, those five were all beer, so two fifteen on the year, and eighty five of those are beer. Hmm. Okay, hmm. okay, I can go next. Right. Yeah, I didn't do much either. Played a couple rounds of golf. Finally, it's been weeks and weeks since I played. I was sick, and um, I don't know. Nobody was inviting me out, so I didn't end up going <laughs> out. But um, I think you were just turning down all the invites. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did uh, did beat Canoop on Saturday, so that was a nice start to the year for me. Um, Can I ask you a question before we get into this? Same pin, no, no, same no, no, day. No, just, just stop, stop, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. <laughs> what hole did you hit it out of bounds from? On? Huh? What hole did you hit it out of bounds on? On 16. Uh, you hit it right? Yeah. Okay, what did what happened after I that? bogeyed it, just like no, I no, bogeyed no, no, 14. No, sorry, sorry. So, no, it, walk me through the entire hole, please. Yeah, so <laughs> I dropped, hit it up Where? there. Where? Dropped near the out of bounds. Okay, hitting. Hitting three. <laughs> okay, so if we're not playing the same <laughs> rules, we can't say that you but, are beating me. But today, okay. I re-teed from after I hit it OB on 14 and made six. Yeah, it's a great six. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll call it even then for <laughs> those two then. <laughs> Did you beat me today? Uh, no, oh, yeah, Harvey, you want to hear about our match today? Oh yeah, uh, I never. We never righties, righties versus so lefties. We beat them eight and seven. I've decided today. <laughs> I've decided today that I'm never playing a match against Canoop ever again because he doesn't give adequate strokes. See, he just doesn't give go. the strokes. That's exactly. He what doesn't give the strokes the required for a fair you match. You guys didn't know. So eight it doesn't. <laughs> like, well, my partner was hurt. He shot eighty four. I, I, I actually said handicap. that to Canoop. I said Bruno's going to complain about strokes tonight. And then uh, we're also going to have the conversation of how many strokes did we need to give them to have a competitive a, match? A realistic amount. Yeah, but Mickey no, said... But there's there's so other factors other so the than fourth, just the handicaps. The Remember fourth the person, morning round? The fourth person I'm four in our five group... five strokes worse than the morning. The fourth, so am I. Fourth person just in our played group well today. Said, said it doesn't matter. We we're good. Straight up. five today, didn't you? 78. <laughs> Started 7-6. Seven, <laughs> Your partner said we didn't need to do strokes today. Yeah, well, he's nice. He he's nice about stuff like that. No, no strokes. Yeah, it, it was doesn't combined make any score. Sense. It was combined it score sense. match play. Uh, it doesn't make sense. So no his strokes. his his morning is offset by my morning. What? Yep. Yes, that you're fine sense. in the mornings. My, did you see my fingers until hole seven? Yeah, well, you're obviously better with a jacket on. So <laughs> I d- huh? he made multiple <laughs> comments about my jacket. I know it was irking him. He had nine layers on. <laughs> I did. It I was working. T-shirt. So. T-shirt. Why take them off? Polo, mm-hmm. long sleeve, jacket. But I was frozen for 14 holes this morning. Like, I I was shaking yeah. over putts. Yeah, you three wore shorts. I don't know if I was nervous or what. Why would you wore shorts? So did I. Well, the forecast said 20 degrees at 8 a.m. What am I supposed to do? Not believe it? Yeah, I agree. Yes. You know, and the only yeah, reason yeah. I'm saying yes is because when we played last Friday, the forecast said it was supposed to feel like 2 degrees. At 7.30 in the morning, and I had long johns on. <laughs> I had, like, an <laughs> Under Armour, like, long sleeve, a golf shirt, and a sweater over top. And then it was, like, 14 degrees when we teed yeah. off. Yeah. Sweated the whole round. Yeah. You brought up that OB, though. But his, Matty B's kid talked in my putt on a three-footer up the hill on six. So, I mean, okay. we'll so call anytime, it even there. So, so like, I a, still got you by one. A button. bird, <laughs> something, like, anything goes on, I can just always blame it on no. that. No. Okay. No. 
Just I'm not check, sure. I'm just kid, checking. I'm not sure know. my kid talking in that talk way. Talk and moved. Where you wouldn't need to hit the hole still. Talked, <laughs> talked and moved a lot. Uh, <laughs> like father, like son, I guess. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I guess that's it. Um, yeah, five birdies this week, six on the year. Churchill boost count four this week. So just the three. I went five days in a row, six days in a row without a drink. Um, that's wow. probably why you were shaking that's over a, those putts. Uh, that's a big run. That's what we kept saying to him. <laughs> <laughs> but I did have three the day before. Two days yeah. before. Oh, yeah. So. That's why. Uh, 238 and 141. Lakers gone. Yeah, later Lakers. See ya. We didn't have to watch that last 10 minutes. I told you oh. guys. Yeah, and oh, they gave oh, LeBron. LeBron they, gave it, they gave him the chance, and he flubbed it away. Uh, yep. I guess that's me. Yeah. Um, yeah, I did a few more things than you guys. Uh, you did? Yeah, I went to the lake first time of the year um but here's the thing like used to be going up to the lake may long weekend like it used to be insane like 20 years ago you'd like they'd have police officers like when you turn into christopher lake just checking every car for like really? booze and whatever and like you'd be lined up now we drove in at like seven fifteen, just right on through nothing no one's in there Drink a little bit, but like even the guys we're up there with, like I was in bed at ten o'clock every night. Yeah, like it's just, it just sucks. Well, we're old. It's not the so. same. Yeah, it's just not the same. No. But and then real bad break had to put in a few docks in the freezing cold water. <laughs> I was wearing rubber boots and got the little pinhole rubber rubber boots oh. on the back oh, of the yeah. got some le- leg hair. So we'll see how I golf this week Smooth after that. These babies. Wow. Did you shave your legs? No, that's how they are from rubber boots for ten years. Oh yes, yeah. Hair won't grow back. Uh, huh. Sorry, back That's to your... That's kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, it is. The liquor ban was lifted this year? Does that affect... I don't know. That's only in the campgrounds. Oh, uh, okay. But, and I think it's lifted anyways. I don't think it's a, a thing anymore. Okay. Mm. Did you golf? No. No golfing up there. Hmm. Uh, yeah, just put in docks, drank nine Churchills wow. all weekend, and uh, yeah, got good night's sleeps. I was a low man this week. Feels good. Awesome. That's that a weird. rare. Week. But uh, golf twice last week. Made two birdies. Four on the year and four rounds. How are the mosquitoes up there? Four and four rounds. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He's waiting to peak. And He's waiting. Uh, yeah. Oh well, yeah. Elkridge peak. Yeah, that was with a round with zero too. Um, bugs. Yeah. Yeah. Way they're not as bad up there as they are down here. Really? Okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's good. Like they were. They haven't warmed up enough. Up yeah, there. I don't know, but. Uh, it's getting dumb down here. Less rain, maybe. Getting mm. real dumb. Yeah, like down it's here. dry up there. Like lakes down, probably a foot and a half. Fire really? bands That's everywhere. Wow. And yeah, the bugs don't come out till like it gets dark out, mm. and then it's fine. So That's it's good. fine in the meantime, but yeah. Good for Elkridge. Yeah, that's uh, that's a quick week there. But yeah, yeah, that's quick. So uh, nine drinks, two twenty-five on the year. Okay, it's a close little. What's race the number? Two twenty-five. I'm two thirty-eight. Two thirty-eight. Two fifteen. Oh wow. Your Se- 70, 70 point lead. Living his life. Yeah. Living my life. You know what? I have I have met my New Year's resolution every single week so far this year. <laughs> yep. Living it. Including living it by telling my wife I was watching the PGA Championship. I, s- I gave her the window. Did I said, tell her? Well, just remind her that it's Major Sunday. Yeah. Woke up. Well, I, l- I planted the reminder on Saturday. Yeah. But then on Sunday, it's like, Okay, I'll uh, I'll have it on TV, but I'm not actually pitting in until the leaders tee off, and then that's kind of your window. Yep. But one thing I, f- my f- very first takeaway of the entire final round is at the Masters, it was this big thing about how long the round took. It was a four and a half hour round, or just mm-hmm. over four on Sunday uh, yeah. for the PGA Championship. That was like the pace of play was unbelievable. Let's start with the course before we even get into Brooks. Like this course is. A major championship golf course that should be in play every, like, what is it, 10 years? It was 10 years. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, that's it's probably five. about right. 03 was that before it. So, it, it, it like should be every five years. It'd I be think. nice yes. if it was every five, but yeah, this thing, yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. in my It's in my list of good courses. Yep. And there's not many on there. So <laughs> it's growing it, now. It might be up to seven now. Well, that I actually play or on the PGA Tour, because they're both around like five or six. Yeah, it's like Waska Sioux, Silverwood, 
Muirfield that Village, <laughs> that one in France, that one in <laughs> yeah. Scandinavia, and yeah. this one. That's it. <laughs> six now. That's about right, yeah. We're up to six. <laughs> I There's really probably a few <laughs> more if I dig a little deeper, but yeah, call it six. Call it eight tops. Uh, I really enjoyed this course. Like visually on TV, yeah. they made it. They did a really good job of showcasing uh, the course itself. Yeah, and week. then obviously they had some rain to deal with, and that made things challenging for some guys. I yeah, can't I believe they didn't shut them down. Yeah, like that yeah. rain on Saturday was insane. Yeah, yeah, it like was. They were squeegeeing yeah. greens. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I like seeing that better though than when they have that the fairways fast like that right because we'll see drives on some of like riviera and stuff and those balls are rolling out 60 yards sometimes yeah, right yeah when they have it this soft it it completely changes the golf course and i thought yeah, well, yeah what was that one was awesome. uh brooks's first u.s open southern hills was it that one where it was just like you're hitting it and it just rolls in the rough no matter wh- yeah. what you did yeah. yes yeah um it was funny though that they were talking about it. I think Rom said it's set up for the scores. You see guys like eight over and then guys five under. So it rewards you. It's just crazy to see the the difference that you can have in one course for like if you're playing really well, you can score somewhat. But if you're not playing well, you're absolute trash. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. it's just I that's a it. major champ and that's the whole reason for Ronell's comment. It's just it was almost perfect the only thing that was actually saved sunday was the fact that victor i don't want to don't want to get too far into it yet if victor didn't keep that close yeah it wouldn't even have been a worth a watch on well we were sunday. saying early on right away that this is going to be a five shot win and like yeah because he was he was up four bad we birdied on. three of the first he went three in a row in the first five holes or whatever and it's just like okay we're done and then six or six or seven or whatever it was he goes into the water, and yep. it's like, okay, well, maybe we're getting close. So it was good, good ger- theater that way, and it did stay kind of close. But it was just to get to soak in all of the course throughout. You just have to remove yourself from kind of what's going on, yeah, and just enjoy. Yeah, it was set, it was it was set up very well from the rough and like beside the fairways to the rough around the greens. Like, yeah, it so, actually like stumped a lot of yeah. the top players in the world which yeah. is kind of you have holes that are making see. Tyrrell Hatton say fuck this hole this hole's <laughs> stupid then <laughs> yeah. it's a good golf course yeah, yeah. or uh <laughs> Scotty Scheffler saying it's the hardest hole he's ever played oh, like yeah. that type Six? of stuff yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah that's an awesome hole yeah yeah it's really there's good. there's a ton of great holes yeah like and the that tweet about how there's no tee times there yeah you just show yeah, good up tie-in, yeah. and get getting a cue and then you go out which is kind of weird and you don't know which course you're playing you don't know two. which which course, you don't know what time. So like, imagine showing up thinking that you were gonna get on in the next hour and it being like a three hour wait. Oh yeah, that like that. That was again. That's what I was gonna bring up. There's like, gonna be like a I side would chat. There's I gonna be a leave. side chat. Yeah. It's gonna be like a hey, yeah. who's going? Or like unwritten times for people. Or like yeah, you're calling. Yeah, I'm not booking a time, but if I was to show up, when would I get on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just seems like there's actually if tea I could times, be but there there's in not. An hour. <laughs> is it a twenty minute wait or is it four hours and I won't leave yeah, for three yeah. hours? <laughs> yeah. Uh we don't have tea times, but we do have this group chat where people just <laughs> ask each other when they're going. <laughs> <Yeah>. and <laughs> they just we didn't make their own tea. They just wanted to save money on the tea time software. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> just they do it all via group chat. Yeah. Yeah. But uh all right, let's talk about Brooksy and his whole from where he was and the full swing documentary and just and peeling the back the curtain and saying, hey, injured, going to live, not sure if I can get there. I really want to. I'm a killer, but I'm hurt. That type of stuff. And is yeah. everyone just like, wow. Here we thought uh, he was this stone cold killer, but he's a bit of a head case. And then now it's like, oh, wait, never mind. He's back. He's back. Can we just say right off the bat that he won this tournament? Because Chris Canoop was cheering for him, though. Like, that's why he won. <laughs> and he jinxed, was on his side. he jinxed every other player in the field. You did. did especially the Canadians, but I mean, you no. did at one point jinx everybody else in the field. So. No. It's I the s- same thing with your Panthers. It's just, you're just on a heater right now. Hey, and the that's Rockies. A good thing did you for a bet, week and a half. Did you now? bet Brooks? <laughs> or I you did just. Not. I did not. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Is he bet on other guys? This, is, this happens to me all the time. If I'm watching a game live, 
and I need something to happen, I bet on the other thing to happen because I'm so in such a cold streak betting right now. I just do <laughs> do what I want, the opposite of what I want to happen, and I win. Yeah, so like I that. had a point written down here, and we might as well get into it and circle back to Brooks, but like, this is where I'm flipping my perspective, but like, are we manifesting these jinxes to be more powerful than they actually <laughs> should be? Like, because as soon as someone says something, like, well, jinxed. I know. <laughs> it's all over. I know. And it's, then that it's, energy gets too out deep. there. And we're it's like, too yeah, deep, man. We've, well, we, we just how do you fix it? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to fix it. We need a full reset somehow. Because if you if you don't comment on the jinx, the jinx still happens. Because yes. someone jinxes them. <laughs> I so know. You can't, you can't even just, like, ignore it because it still yeah. happens. So and now, yeah. and now I'm doing, th- I'm, like, emotionally hedging everything. Brunel's like, watch out for Scotty. So I immediately go and bet on Scotty. Scotty so can win. just so we won't win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's exactly what you said. And then I when he got to six there, he had, his <laughs> odds were still a little bit out because he was back he was down four. I'm yeah. like, you know what? I can't I can't take a Scott a Scott Scheffler win. I'm betting on him. <laughs> and I mean, technically that's right. Like and I didn't win my bet. You mentioned full swing. Like that's it's crazy that he was mentioning uh Scheffler and that you know, he he can never beat Scheffler because he's just so good and yep. yeah. He ends up beating Scotty, he ends up finished second and yeah. Script I mean, well, it's like it's I, I was not cheering for Brooks whatsoever. I don't really like the guy, but fuck I respect him in major championships. Like it's th- it's, it's almost insane how much he embell- how good elevates. he is like yes. in that situation. Yes. Like it's just I mean he pulled those couple on the back nine, but other than that it was just like like you see just, and yeah, like I agree. dead eight, straight, like not 18, even an 18, inch he of still curve needs on bogey. Like he double goes to a playoff, pulls out driver, pumps it down the middle. Like yeah. he's just I will one hundred percent agree with that whole thing. I don't, and I've s- said this on the show many times. Don't like him uh, much at all. Like yeah. as a as a human, just his general personality. He probably would be cool to be friends with. But I'm not friends with him, so therefore <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. don't generally like him. Yeah. But when he gets into majors, bag. I like kind he, of he is, but I sneaky cheer for him yeah. because it's like, it's yeah, I want that guy to win ten majors. golf in the major. Well, I mean, it's yeah. it's the same when you cheer for Tiger, growing up. Like, he, yeah, it's a similar guy, kind of, right? Yes. Well, in now, w- in ways, now, well, in not ways, everyone's yeah. cup of yeah, tea yeah. is what you. Yeah, not right? everyone's cup of yeah. tea, but just dominant yeah. and just steps up his game and, so he, I and like he might have the best life in golf right now with all the money they gave him to go play mm-hmm. on the live likely gonna get to play in every major he yeah. wants to till he get till he retires yep. now and if he happens to get a british like an open championship then he will get to play in every yep. single one and only has to play 20 like 20 times a year and i can only imagine how much each of these live guys have in their contracts if they win majors. Like, it had to have been a $10 million bonus. Especially the big guys. Yes. Like, Brooks, yep, come sure. here. If you win a major, we'll give you $10 million bonus because then it just further gets him to come. Yeah. yeah. It's like, we you will get into majors. And that's the thing about these live guys is it has, to some extent, blown over because some of these guys are, obviously, some aren't getting to play because they're not getting their rankings points. But, like, these guys... They're always going to get to play in the majors because they're they're doing well in the majors. And this is the yeah. only guys that we wanted in the majors. Anyways. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. You're true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. The, all these people that are coming on saying, "Oh, yeah, the live proved everybody wrong." It's like, no, we still knew that these guys were good golfers. These like, are the only good ones. This doesn't affect yes. that. Like, we yeah. knew Cam Smith was still a top ten player in the world. Like, we knew Brooks was still going to be unreal in majors. But this is a different tour. Like, it's not. Yeah, it's that's not, the it's that's not the difference is justifying anything. They're still like, you know? golfing. They're still practicing. We know they're still good golfers. Some they of them, just, yeah. They just chose to go on a tour that doesn't give ranking points. Their events and that's, yes. are that's kind a of a choice joke, they made. And their <laughs> half their field is really bad. <laughs> Why? Well, yeah. hey, so, but that's Siwon Kim was sixty second this week. <laughs> <laughs> so. He was up there actually yeah. early. for a guy but that gets lost every single week yeah, on their for him tour. For the cut. It just goes to show, like for those at that when they're at that level, it doesn't matter about the actual competition of golf. Yes. That's exactly what I'm saying, though. Is like that's they just why go and they practice, and then they play their yeah, game. They're they're yeah. yeah, they're still golfers. They're still golfers. They're still golfing. 
Like, so that whole yeah. argument is like, these guys want to play in the best. Yes. Well, well no, they just showed up after playing five silly events and got a second and a first in the yeah. first two I games. think but that that makes a big difference. If you had a college, well, maybe not even a college golfer, but somebody that was a little bit younger, that doesn't have the experience that those guys yeah. have, right? So they already have played in however many, many major championships, right? So them going to play on live and then going back to what they were used to isn't that big of a deal. But maybe when you have a college player coming yeah. in that was on live, so whoever it might be going forward, and then well, they uh, maybe get guy, into a, uh, I mean, never gonna a major, get a right? Major. Yeah. Potentially, yeah. My right? So I just think that they have that experience and it helps them in that situation. My uh, thought behind all of that is if they... They made the decision, and let's say they don't get world golf ranking points, and they can't get in majors. The side effect or repercussion to their decision should just be that if you're still a good golfer, you just have to qualify the other way. Mm -hmm. Like these guys that can't yeah. get in U.S. Open, it's go play a U.S. Open qualifier. They just want the easy way to get in. Because Sergio qualified today. But that and that's exactly what I'm saying. Is I'm pretty sure For the U.S. So Open. Yeah. So just go to a qualifier, win the qualifier. You're a good golfer. If you yeah. believe you should be in that, go and qualify for it. Like, I don't understand. Yeah. I get the whole, well, we want to qualify by playing in high yeah. competition tournaments. Or you just, you don't because you pick this tour, so you have to do it yeah. the other way. They like, wanted their cake and to eat it too. Yeah. And the only guy that's doing that is Brooks. Like, he's, and Cam he's Smith. got the best life. And yeah. Cam Smith needs to win another one, but he'll, yeah. he's got it for a few years And now, I mean, DJ's yeah. DJ. He don't, but he don't yeah. care. No, like that's care. the thing. No. No. And DJ, if they don't give Fun. world golf, he ain't going to qualifier. No, he no. literally <laughs> don't he care. <laughs> <not> care. <laughs> no. What's like, he might, he might go to a qualifier though. The craziest Brooks stat is that he has five major wins now and only four regular PGA Tour event wins. Yeah, and one live, two live, two live. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it's his the way that he elevates his game is insane. And it's he, also. And could have won the Masters. Easily could have won the Masters. Yep. Imagine if he had both right now. It would be insane. Yeah. <laughs> Brandle would be dead. <laughs> yeah. He would be dead. <laughs> he was awfully quiet this weekend, too. Well, him and Faxon <laughs> yeah. got into it. Because yeah. Faxon said he, Brooks should be on the Ryder Cup team. And then we should. Brandle's he absolutely yeah. should be. He's going to earn his way on just from the well, majors are alone. they going to let those count? They won't is let him. Ryder Cup not a PGA Tour yeah. event? Or well, is that PGA, like the... The PGA Championship, so whoever runs the PGA Championship is who runs. Okay, uh, then they should be able to get on. get on. I don't think that they're going to let him. Well, he's already on. Yeah. If, if he's allowed to be on, he's 100% yeah, on. Yes. If he's allowed, allowed to yes. be on. Yeah. But I don't think yeah. they're going to allow him on that team. Uh, did you see Rory hugging him after? Yeah. It's baby steps, I guess. Imagine, <laughs> imagine not liking Rory like Canoop does. It just—he's just such he, a good guy. He just went a little I too don't far not on the weekend. Like yeah. Rory, what? I don't not like uh, Rory. Okay. He just sometimes just gets on my nerves. Just attack him at That's every all. chance you get. No, I just—I don't know. Every little, every day, there's a pod topic about Rory doing something, and you're just <laughs> and, uh, grinning at home. <laughs> only Bryson stuck around. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, they yeah, didn't charge the green. Yeah. Hey, Bryson nope. impressed me too this week. Played well. I was surprised. That is that yeah. was very yep. surprising. Yes. For for uh, a skinny little fuck like he is now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've kind of touched on it, but it was like how much he's elevated his game, but like it was never really a doubt that he wasn't winning this thing after Friday. Yeah. Canoop tried to make it sound like Vic had a chance, well, but No, okay, so the only reason I was counting Vic in was because Brooks has lost the last like four or five times he's been leading a major. Yeah. Coming into Sunday. So for him, for him to be able to close out this year, yeah, or this so tournament was that's a really good impressive. point. Is we're talking about Brooksy being this he lost a crazy, Phil. crazy elevated, <laughs> yeah, 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 crazy elevated majors guy, which is true. He's always seems to be top ten, but he's also blown some. Like yes. he could have, he could, he could have, have 10, eight, eight to ten insane. majors. <laughs> yeah, he could. Right, yeah. like he elevates oh, himself man. to the point that it's just like you expect him to win, and we expected him to win. If he lost this, hypothetically, like that, that even probably brings him down one more notch back into the sewer. There he is at the Panthers game. Yeah, rocking the probably same booing Ekla Ekblad again. Um, they showed a stat about Brooks's percentages, like win percentage, top five percentage, top ten percentage in majors. Better. And they compared it to Tigers. Yeah. And it's like very close. But then someone posted underneath. 
these were Tiger's numbers at Brooks's age, and it was just like, oh, yeah, <laughs> never mind. Because <laughs> yeah. from Cause, yeah, 30 it's skewing it all down. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then the, the Jenna Sims post when they're at, they asked, that was good. What, where, why wasn't she there at the thing? And she just yeah. posted a video of her cleaning the trophy case. Yeah. And prepping it for the new trophy. Oh, really? showing That's up crazy because I just laughed so hard when I saw that trophy case <laughs> and it was just like, there's no way there's going to be another trophy in there. See, ever. the live trophy was in there already yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. And another one. I still, I still do find it very odd that she wasn't there. Like, obviously, this is like the re- reaction to it. Yeah. That and obviously that's not what she was doing, but it is weird that she wasn't there. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. I think she had a. I think she was in like Vegas or something. <laughs> yeah, probably. At like some sh- like fashion thing. Uh, yeah, else? Know, Let's uh, go to Vic. Uh, I mean, Vic or Block. Oh, oh yeah, I guess yeah. Block's the second biggest story. But let's go to Vic. Um, Let's do Vic first. Yeah. Just wrote down not ready. He's not ready. No. He now, was you know ready. What? He, now I he's ready. He's he, ready. Now he's ready. Yeah, See, going I, he forward, wasn't he's ready. ready. This I is yeah. the yep. this is the tournament he needed. To know exactly He's what been it takes to a win lot. a main I, can, I can get on board with that, though. Yes. I did see a lot of good things from him on Sunday, and it really he really surprised me. Yeah. To well, be it was honest. a bad break, the costume thing. He played it. Thing's probably a playoff yeah. if that doesn't happen on that bunker. Yeah. yeah. Corey Connors yeah. did the exact same thing the day before, which is wild, too. With a nine iron, too. Like, you think maybe you got five or six iron in hand, you might do that, but. Yeah, because they had lots of, both of them had lots of room. Yeah. But those but bunkers were well it. set up. Like, they're tough. Yep. Yeah. The fact that two guys did it back to back days, the exact same thing shows how crazy in a hole. good that yeah. bunker set up. Yeah. They were they were in the exact same position. Yeah. Yeah. Just Vic, wild yeah. to see. Vix be like putting this weekend. Yeah, he paints like everything really good. He, he played yeah, well enough to win, if not for the kill. It always <laughs> comes down with him to and that was a bad break this week that cost him, but like if he's hitting greens, he's there, but he can't yeah. chip whatsoever. Yeah. No. So if he's missing greens, he doesn't get up and down well. He had he had a couple good uh, chips, though, on Sunday. Uh, what hole was it? F- 14, I think it was. Just that little chip up. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, I think it was 14. That but drivable, anyway. The drivable yeah. hole? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was just over, and yeah. they're like, oh, yeah, this is going to be tough, and he got inside like a foot. Well, that's... When they say it's tough, it's always <laughs> yeah. a foot or less. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, think, that doesn't really help, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you think he does better if he uh, has better scripting from his uh, his clothing sponsors? Yeah, uh, he's fine. It was just I mean, weird. he it was, was happy. He was, was happy for day. the rain when he could wear the black jacket. Yeah. I'll tell you that yeah. much. It was yeah. orange every yeah. single day, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, he had no, white and white a on orange. Saturday. Yeah, and yeah. when they, the rain Which stopped. shirt was worse, that the suspender orange shirt. to white or orange to yellow down or the... The suspenders with the shirt. yellow, whatever one that was. That had oh, the that one. Stripes. Yeah, the suspenders. That was Thursday, shirt. I think. Yeah. Right. I don't know. That Friday faded thing. one was bad too. Hey, he did, and he came out and addressed it, saying that they give me the clothes, I yeah. just gotta wear them. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about true. two different, completely different personalities in that final group too. Hey. Yeah. Between those two guys, like they're not the same at all. Ah, uh, no. That's <laughs> no. the yeah. biggest Vic. Like the thing with Vic in the stats was that I couldn't believe only three Europeans have ever won the PJ Championship. That's surprising. And one of them is the guy who won the first two in like nineteen really eighteen. Huh. Yeah. And then the Padre oh, and Padre, yeah. Rory. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So that that was kind of crazy to me. Hmm. Um, Block. Yeah. Let's go, Mi- Michael Block. Chuck Block, whatever. His Chuck name. Block. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck Mike Chuck Knobloch? They called him Mike Block in the Mike Block sounds weird. It's I mean, gotta yeah, be Mike. It's gotta be Michael Block. Yeah. What a week. Great. The week was crazy prior great to Great way to distract everybody from Brooks wi- winning, really. Because Yes, everyone's latching yeah. on to this. He's in the Charles Schwab this week. He's going to the Canadian Open in two weeks. He qualified for weeks. PGA next year at Valhalla. Qual- yeah. So it's just yeah, like say he said he's trying to get his tour card now. Well, really? Yep. Well, how old is he? If he does well enough in the next, 40s? yeah. If he does well enough in the next two tournaments, uh, he'll 40, get it. He's forty-seven, I think. I forty-six, remember. maybe. Because yeah, no, because he said in his interview, "In my forty-six, yeah, 46 years on yeah. Earth, nothing will ever beat this." Yeah, and nothing will. Mm-hmm. Like the this is the best. Like his like kids like sending him that video from that bar or from his home course and everything. Yeah, the, like yeah, the vi- of them cheering and like yeah. his reaction to knowing he's playing with Rory and he's yeah. just like. That's I'm cool. not sure. I'm he not beat, so sure. It's John Rom, like all these life. things, yeah. right? Yeah, like it. 
This is the best week of his life. And there's other things family related that happened. Best week of his life. Best week. Yeah. Cause it's a week. It's not a yeah. single yeah. day. Or not. It oh, was yeah. like five whole, days. Best week of his life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like even if you like your Probably kids, the best like moment leading up to too. the kids being born, those are stressful days. Cause like yes. your wife wants that thing out of her. Yeah. <laughs> <like> yeah. Wedding, <laughs> like wedding day, <laughs> nervous. <laughs> like that, that ace for a PG in playing with Rory in the fourth to last group or whatever it was. Last par three of the day. Last par three of the day. Dunk ace. When all of the stories for the week have been pretty much about you, or at least the previous 48 hours. Yep. That is like the pinnacle of life. Yeah. Almost. But I thought the craziest thing Other about winning. him was all week was that he just, like, for a club pro, he just went out there and just, like, played his game and hit that low fade all over that course, didn't try and yeah. change anything, yeah. whether the shot mm-hmm. actually called for it or not. He just went on and just, like, swung a swing and just, like, oh, yep, low fade. Mm, and it just, like, worked. <laughs> yeah. like, and he I shot don't even expect par the first three days, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. <right? laughs> he was 70, Headed 70, into 70. Sunday, he had, he had hit the most fairways of anybody, and he led the, the field in putting. Which is insane to to think. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's just cool. And then they obviously they built it up to to the point of, hey, he needs to get up and down to qualify for next year. That was like the thing for a bit because Brooks had a three shot lead or whatever. It's just like, can Block yeah. make it to next year? Yeah. And then that insane up and down. It's like, yeah, he's in. Yep. Just, yeah. Did he actually not think that it was in the hole? Nope. He lied. Oh, okay, good. Because he kept. <laughs> yeah. But that's the cla- That's uh, a classic thing that you would do. Is it does feel like um, you don't necessarily need to be a genuine nice. I'm not saying he's not a genuine nice guy, but it does kind of feel like he is a bit of a fig jam around home. Could yeah. be, yep. Because like that whole that's something a fig jam would do. Oh, did it actually go in? Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, tell me more. Tell me again <laughs> that it went in. Tell me again. <laughs> Just well, like, yeah. well, you yeah. know, you know, it went in. Yeah, because yeah. Rory, like, he hugged him, obviously. So, why is he hugging him? Like, well, yeah. that's the thing. You don't right? have to say that. He he's and like, is this guy hugging away. me for a shot to ten feet? Like, yeah. come on, you knew it's in. You knew it was exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, good for him. I'm excited to see him. Maybe, uh, maybe try to get him, uh, get him for an interview in Toronto here in a couple weeks. That'd be neat. Uh, just, just a couple. It last just gives hope to everybody yeah. that's yeah. still trying to grind. Yeah, you know, forty-six that, years old. Yeah, right? Omar Resti. Yep. He jumped yeah, he three thousand spots in the World Golf Rankings. Yeah. That's <laughs> that's nuts. And the fact that he was even on it to begin with is crazy. Yeah, you, you might have jumped a spot or two this morning if you didn't bogey seventeen. But <laughs> <laughs> spot or two. I can't. <laughs> I can't play that hole this year. Uh, <laughs> that was the, today and was he needed to I do twenty-three hundred <laughs> lessons. To make the oh amount right, of money yeah. that, he, uh, that, funny that stuff. he made this week. Um, yeah. Let's just touch on Canadians and move on. Well, no, we got to oh. talk about Scheffler. Yeah. Oh, gotta, right. Gotta we do got to talk about Scheffler. What, him not making a putt outside 15 feet all week? Until yeah. like inside. Until he was yeah. there and he, he had, wasn't there he at had all. two absolutely awful lip outs on Sunday. And if those go in, he's tied for the lead. And he's going to a The amount out. of lip outs this week was very, very. 360s. Eye-opening. Yes. Yeah. Tons. Those <laughs> those edges were really 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 sharp. Yeah. I know this help. isn't a prediction of any any kind, but Scotty Scheffler is going to win the U.S. Open this year. Like he's winning that tournament. That sounds Mark exactly down. like a prediction. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> tough when he's the number Some one may player. say that's the definition tough when he's the first ranked player in the world. But well, yeah. it's yeah. not he a bold prediction, but it's a prediction up. nonetheless. Well, he, moved <laughs> he moved back up. Yeah. <laughs> so I was thinking to myself, like Rom, you got a top five over there? No, not a top five, but. So Rom and Scheffler are having like unbelievable seasons, right? They're always up there. And I was thinking, like, has there been a tournament where one of them wasn't up there? There hasn't been. So in the events that they've both played, so CJ Cup, Rom T fourth, Hero second and eighth, Century, Rom first, Amex, Scheffler was first, or eleventh, Rom was first, Phoenix, Scheffler first, Rom third, Genesis, Rom first, Scheffler twelfth. Like Arnold Palmer, Scheffler fourth, players Scheffler first, match play Scheffler fourth, Masters Rom first, Scheffler tenth, RBC Heritage was the only one they were eleventh and fifteenth. Every other time they've been top, one of them has been top five in every single tournament that they played. And then there's five tournaments where only one of them played, and they're all top tens too. There, <laughs> sounds so like they're a, just, 
sounds like what we should be doing for our best bet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Top yeah. yeah. I yeah. think we found something out here. Yeah, yeah. but I found mean, a it's trend. not going to pay anything because it's that good yeah, right now. I mean, your top tens are minus three hundred. Yeah, mm-hmm. you'd have to parlay them both and hope they both make top tens. Yeah. One mm-hmm. of them's always up there, man. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I just wrote down that six hole comment. Where we touched on that. Rory, I mean T seven, but another one just like Sheffler, like he was there, but he wasn't, wasn't. really a threat. Yeah. Like Scotty was a threat yeah. Sunday. Rory yeah. wasn't ever. Just a shitty. But then, then Saturday I also too. like yeah. it was a backdoor top ten fiesta. On oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Like Cantlay, Smith, Sepp Straka, Kitiyama, and Cam Davis all just backdoored into big paychecks and. But Good rounds. Oh, absolutely right? like good rounds. But like, really, really good rounds. Some guys fell they required off. required other guys to come back to them yes. to get there. Yep. But um, what was I going to say? Um, you talked about Brooks and uh, respecting the way that he elevates, and obviously Scotty because he plays so well in every tournament, as you just mentioned. You, it's funny that you respect Brooks, but I still cannot even pull myself to cheer for. Scheffler, because really? I don't know he's what it is about. Too much? I don't know what it is about it's him. I just don't like him. He doesn't look like a yeah, yeah. number one player in the world for sure. Just something about him just is off. To he's me. fucking good though. He's very good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If he and it does. It also doesn't <laughs> make sense. Like the foot stuff. Like yep. it just doesn't yeah. make sense. Really, it, that he's the new more. Case. He's the new more cow. If he could putt, if he Butchie was it. here, if Butchie was here, if he could putt. Butchie wouldn't even have an uh, argument against this one. This is Morikawa times 10. Yes, if he it is a putt, fact. he wins every single time. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Um, sorry, keep talking. I want to bring up a little stat here. Is it Scheffler's putting? Yeah, he is 92nd in the world. Or what I is guess he in the this other year's categories? Uh, first in strokes gained total, first in off the tee, second in approach. If he could 92nd putt, yeah, he would have... Putting. He might have the best season of anybody in the history of the PGA. Yeah, no one puts it all together. It's like fantasy baseball. Your pitchers and hitters <laughs> are never going at but the same But is he even time. having a better season than John Rahm right now? I think he is. Well, wow, Rahm's no, got a major. Not. Scheffler doesn't. He's got the players, but he's not. You got a major, you're I ahead, I think. Yeah. Got three or four wins in a major. Unofficial major. Um, I had Spieth written down just because he actually swore on that one. Yeah. Where he doesn't. Didn't say gosh darn it. I heard that. He actually swore, so that was Learned an interesting change. Learned how to hit change. a fucking iron shot, did you say? Yeah. Yeah. Or he just hit one F and iron shot once or something like that. <laughs> JT, another bad week for him, but uh, gave that kid his wedge because he said the bunkers chewed it up too much this really? week. Good yeah. for him. Um, I'm surprised that doesn't happen more often. Like, you just give, like, that's good for give pips. clubs, yeah. Pip stuff. You're yeah. getting new clubs anyways yeah. whenever you want. I wonder if he gave away his crack driver. Did he get <laughs> anyone? Yeah. Like um, it's just smart. And then he was a backwards hat guy on Saturday. I was, I was just about to bring up backwards hats. Yeah, he didn't want to let the rain drip off the brim of the hat. Yeah. Everybody knows that's what you do. Yeah. yeah. I'm just amazed that they I didn't like allow that. it. You would think they'd make them go to no But hat. they can't wear shorts. Yeah. But so does that here's that's the thought. That tons of hoodies is it like Thursday. is there a rule in the PGA rule book that says when it's raining you can turn it backwards? Because why don't guys just wear backwards hats all the time? I don't think they want to wear backwards no. hats. Because the whole reason that they wear hats, well, not the whole reason, but most of it is so they get money, yeah. right? If you have it backwards, you can't really, I guess. You're telling you me you can't just design a hat that has the logo? You could, but it just doesn't look as good. These guys have infinite I just left it. Just it just doesn't look as good, I don't think. It's also for the sun, you know. That's eh. one of the other points for a hat. But I mean, then yeah, why would think? anyone wear a hat backwards? Yeah, I don't know why Matty B, Matty B does all the time. <laughs> so I don't have a hat tan. Uh, it's for that tan. You got it forward today. Yeah. Got a few comments on your redness on the last pod. Lots of comments. Yeah. I saw two people today at the Ball Diamonds for my daughter, and they both said, hey, you're a little bit sunburnt in that last TikTok. I'm like, oh, my God. Uh, speaking of guys who, probably out. <laughs> guys who probably wish they could have wore shorts was Tom Kim. Oh, yeah. Mm. After he fell in the mud there. I guess. He got all dirty. Took a whole new meaning to mud ball. Yeah, he was messed up. He went down hard. It took a lot for me to find that video because every time it would, the PGA Tour one would pop up, it would tell me I couldn't watch it. Yeah, oh so yeah. it does that lots. Yeah. Fuck. What's with the that? country? I don't know. Twitter, yeah. man. It does that lots for PGA Tour stuff. What well, was yeah. this on NBC? Because I know <laughs> it's an NBC thing. It's always a problem. Oh, yeah, I'm not CBS. sure. Mm-hmm. So it shouldn't have been. Sun- um, sorry, sorry. Here's the one I wanted to bring up. 
uh, Shane Lowry. Oh yeah. So he, this is your point. What was he like, twelfth or something? Don't something know. like that. Yeah. Is there anyone more overrated in the game of golf than Shane Lowry? Because I don't think there is. I, I don't, yeah, I don't know how. I don't know how to rate him. Yeah. Is he's, he rated? Well, <laughs> he <laughs> makes Ryder Cup. He makes Ryder Cup teams. He's he gets yeah. in all these tournaments. He's advertised as one of the feature guys all the time. Like, he's certainly not underrated. But I don't know where he is rated to make him overrated. He's only got two career wins. Yeah, one of them's the. US, or the yeah, he's got five. Open. He's got five top fives since his Open Championship win. Was that nineteen? Eighteen. Eighteen. Jeez, that was five years ago. Where is that the time not, going? Wow, that's sickening. Actually, look, yeah. at, your, look at your like kids, five man. Five years. He's got one top five a year. Like, wh- how's he even keep his cart? Like, it's just grind. He's twenty six in the world. Yeah, he's twenty six in the world. How does like he get maybe there? Though? Overrated. He's got to get there somehow. Or well, click on him. Playing on the Euro. He's tier. the click on yeah. him. he's the European Jazz Jazz of the Wanton. <laughs> <Jazz of Wanda. laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Getting in on technicalities. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bruno, while you're up, uh, see if there's any more uh, mowers in that fridge. And then just a couple uh, quick ones left. I'm gonna um, have to take off my shoes and socks. I'm so hot. So a couple of guys hit fans this week. Joel Damon hit a fan, I think, practice round or round one, and broke him off a Chris hundred dollar bill to buy his beers for the rest of the the yeah, round. I saw oh, that. that was awesome. Yep. And then uh, Stephen Yeager hit a Bills fan and signed his glove and gave it to him, but put "Go Chiefs" on the on the glove. Damn straight. And then if you watch the video, the Bills fan was like. Yeah, you guys might have won the Super Bowl, but we beat you in the regular season. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's okay. yeah, like <laughs> you said that out loud. Yeah, <laughs> like that's what you thought was a good comment. You should have went home. Those, are, those <laughs> are my those are my favorite comments. Yeah, well, we beat you. Yeah, you did. Week twelve or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about Josh Allen saying he's going to all four majors? That's, I mean, so he's, cool. he's a yeah. member at this. Why course, wouldn't you? Right? If you had yeah. infinite money. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, I he mean, probably gets inside the ropes. If we're if we're kind of being Mahomes honest, is going to own like, a hockey team soon. Cone of silence here. Uh, it's probably the comment I would have in those scenarios. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, but you lost to us. Steeler fan would for sure say that. No, I wouldn't. And they'd just say we got, we got six, six more Super Bowls. Six Super Bowls. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Six Super Bowl rings plug in our ears, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> last one before. Oh, and then Lee Hodges had that tough break on the one-stroke penalty where the ball fell in. I hate that rule. That's such a dumb rule. I mean, uh, but what was the time? It's still moving though. Like, it, was mo- it? it was moving the entire time. I don't so know how they assessed the penalty after the fact when they could just watch the video and see that it was still moving. Yeah, that's what how I. How do you, how do you assess the penalty after the fact without using the video? Yeah, like who had the yeah. stopwatch to say what the time was? When did they apply the rule, and how do they review to make sure that it was, in fact, a violation? Because like, you'd have to look at the tape, and if yeah. you looked at the tape, you'd see the ball was moving. Yeah, like who's, who's relaying the, yeah. the there's ruling? A, there's hey, so someone many get a clock on this. Uh, okay, did you, did you tape it? No, but it seemed like it was longer than 10 seconds. Yeah. Check the tapes. Yeah, these, like, aren't these rules officials just like volunteers? They are. Some of them are. Because like, that one Phil got in with that guy, too, right? Like He thought... The guy's like, you got to drop here, and he's like, no, I think you're wrong. I got to drop here, and then he ultimately caved and dropped where the rule thing, so he wouldn't get a penalty because the guy was just like, well, you dropped there, you're getting two strokes. Yeah, yeah. I remind uh, whether remind they were me of, right or wrong. Remind me of two things from Sunday: is uh, the scorer that white-haired dude when Brooks was doing his walk, oh, asking yeah. him for a handshake, and Brooks just walked right by him. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he saw him, so it wasn't actually blowing him off. Yeah. yeah. But it was hilarious on TV. And two, that guy on seven or wherever we hit it into the shit, uh, he asked, yeah. yeah, six. He asked a kid or someone walking with the group across the um, that bridge there. He's like, "Did you see it?" And the kid like like tried to get out of yeah, the way. Yeah. He's like, "Me?" And then he's like, <laughs> he looked over his shoulder. He's like, "No, you did. You see?" He's like. I didn't see it. <laughs> like he's just, I am not making a call here, so no. I'm just saying I didn't see it. He probably yeah. did see it. Oh, Brooks got a, a break on that hole, actually, that it went across the hazard and then back into play, kind of. Whether it did or not, who knows? A sliver. 
back into yeah. play and then back into the hazard. So yeah, it makes sense. He gained like fifty yards at least there. A little unlucky they changed the rule because he would have been able to go on the other side of the creek. Really? Yeah. Equidistant. I don't know the exact like um, sounded way right. to say it, but he, yeah, you have the option to go on whatever side of uh, that lateral hazard is as long as you're going to stay the same distance. Mm. So. And then last one here before Canadians, um, Stephen Alker made his debut. Yeah. At the PGA Championship and uh, was terrible. So no, stick to the champ. Didn't want to say missed the cut. The big well, boys. Everyone knew. Like everyone <laughs> yeah. knows. Yeah. Sometimes he missed you just the can't cut. Say it. He just couldn't uh, hang with the big guys. Uh, Corey Connors. I mean, probably the most disappointing T12 you can have in a major. That's yeah. Yeah, the Canadians don't want to get the deep uh, yeah, wipes know, yet, but yeah, I said it. I said it in the group chat, so I have to say it to the listeners. It was a, it was a group. It was Canadian flag needed dude wipes. Yep. Just all the Canadians. I think it was Adam Stanley. If we're talking about jinxes, he said. Oh, Weeksy was on in on the yeah, jinxes too. First time in history that all f- that four Canadians are inside the top twenty. I think it was heading into the final round. And wasn't fine. or it was at some point Saturday in the tournament, maybe. Yeah, yeah. and well, none of three in the top yeah. ten after week day one. Yeah. yeah, and then yeah, it was 12, 28, 28, something like that. He just stopped making Corey just stopped making birdies. I don't know what yeah. happened, but just um, see yeah, that flag falling. That double, I guess, that bad break or yeah, it was just over that lip and yeah, I yeah, that was a tough. Mind effed him for the rest. Yeah, of Yeah, Hadwin Spenson, they all just had yeah, tough so Sundays. Pendrith was 29th and Hadwin and Svensson 40th, and then Hughes missed the cut. So, uh, Aces birthday shots of the week. Were uh, there any Aces? I didn't hear of um, any. Um, <laughs> but yeah, none that, that didn't that one, none that rolled in. So. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> that no. one Ace. Every, everyone in the world knows what Ace we're talking about. Uh, uh there was another podcast, uh, golf podcast what was it two or more aces or three or more aces was their their bet the boosted bet two or bet. more two or more just one this week though and it was plus 200 <laughs> <laughs> two or more was plus 200 yeah that's there should have been plus 2000 there's one par 3 under like 240 <laughs> or no i think it was plus 250 boosted to plus 300 yeah maybe that was it yeah but I thought still it was still like plus 300 for two aces for some reason i thought it was three <laughs> aces too that made it yeah. even more ridiculous uh birthdays jason Colcrack birthday i think today <laughs> and then uh it's fitting no wonder he wasn't out there on the green with brooksy yeah celebrating, celebrating. and yeah. shots yeah. of the week anyone shot of the week i got one i mean probably the shot of the tournament brooks kepka on 11 out of that bunker like that thing that thing was up against that bank. It is insane that he got that to where he and got it. And it was like, okay, this is four, maybe five here. He did make four, but he got that thing to, what, eight feet? Yeah. I thought for sure he was making the putt when he got it to where he got it. Yeah. And it it the funny thing was, that was a putt right after Hovland's looked like it was going in and just took a right-hand yeah, turn okay, at the yeah, hole. Yeah. So yeah. then Brooks played it just outside left, and it stayed there. Yeah. That's right. It was wild to see that it not did not fall. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm going to go with uh, the man of the hour, but not the shot that you think. Michael Block on 18. His uh, his third. chip shot. Yeah. His third. Yeah. Uh, insane for him to land it where he did and yeah. and get it to what seven feet maybe yeah, seven he eight just feet. Plays his game <laughs> and it just worked out like no pro was doing that no. shot and it just works out. I'll say that bunch of ways to skin a cat, I guess. Uh, dude yeah. wipes his Canadian flag, but my shot of the week, I'll piggyback on there, was the putt on 18, Michael mm-hmm. Block. Yeah. That's fine. You guys missed so many good shots here. Oh, yeah. Um, we can only pick one. <laughs> I think I got to go uh, Max Holma. So much. <laughs> there's, there's on hole six. 20. What was Holma's? The one he hit on six to like a foot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and like the seven cat, wood. And the, they're yeah. like, that's essentially an eagle, like on that hole, because everyone's yeah. making five. Yeah. And then I had Stallings, the hole out. On the first hole of the day. And then whatever shot Taylor Moore hit when he did that club throw. That was a two-hand <laughs> tomahawk. Eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. That oh, yeah, was yeah. a vicious club it. throw. Oh, you yeah. didn't see that really? one? Oh, no. Yeah. He hucked that thing. Like down and the, the And the caddy just, like, walks over with his head down and picks it up and puts it back in the bag. <laughs> Good for him. Good for Good him. Good for him. No news this week. There's a little bit. Well, oh, you did decide to go news. Yeah, there's so little that I had to, and there's one I wanted to get a dig on here. Talk about the majors. Who's going to win the most, or who's got the best chance to win the Grand Slam? 
Oh, let's oh, talk yeah, about that talk briefly. About that. That's a good, uh, I like good it. segue Between into Between the news. four options, or are we including other guys? Well, you too? can talk about someone else, anyway. but the options were Rory, uh, Kepka, Rom, and, Rom Spieth. and Spieth. Yeah, see, I'll go first. I think Spieth's got the best chance. I voted for Spieth in the, in the uh, poll. Because I don't think Rory's getting the Masters. I don't think Brooks is ever winning the British Open. Rom's still got to win two more, right? Spieth I think can, it's Spieth wrong. can win a PGA Championship, can he? I, I voted so for I don't Spieth. think so. I think it's John uh, John Rom. I think Rom only because of the runway that he has. I think he, yeah. I think Rom has and more has the game to win yeah. all four. I voted for Spieth. Yeah, the because it's only one. The open is such a weird one because it's like so you think of the, these Americans that can't win it, right? But then like guys like Lots Phil guys has do. won it, yeah, yeah. and Spieth has won it. Like the correct answer here, unfortunately, is Rory. I do think that he has. Unfortunately, there it is. Yeah. There it is. It's just subconscious. <laughs> he just hates him. <laughs> we'll beep that out. We will delete that. <laughs> nope. the The answer is Rory here. It has to be because I don't think oh. like John has to. Have, he has to win two. Can you right? Jordan, <laughs> yes, he's won a U.S. Open, but the way that they've been setting the PGA up lately has been very u.s open like yeah and i yes. the way he's driving the ball right now i don't think that he can win yeah he won that year those u.s opens when he was like the best yes most accurate so i don't driver think it's jordan world. and he can't putt anymore either so. yeah and brooks needs two as well so i think the it's answer certainly is certainly not brooks yeah. i don't think it's brooks the answer is rory i don't think he's winning the british but i've said that about everybody else too so yeah <laughs> It's a cool discussion, though. Man, uh, can you imagine how many jinxes Canoop's going to throw out if Rory's actually in contention so you think on one of these majors? You think Scheffler can do it? I don't. I don't know if he can win the Open. I just don't see any of these guys winning the Open. I don't know. I always just think it's like a guy think like Shane Rom wins, Rom so wins the Open this Darren year? Darren Clark, Shane Lowry. Scheffler can win. Scheffler's winning the U.S. His, Open this year. His so short game that is... One no, I, I, for I'm British. Not a prediction. For mm-hmm. the Open. I think he can win the British. He can't putt, though. His short game, though, is unbelievable. Yeah. Right? And that's what you need. And he's, he's got, got the, the creativity. Yeah. He's got the length. He can yeah, do some all of, of that the stuff. Yeah, so. some of the hole he didn't make a putt outside of 15 feet is also because he, if he misses the green, he's up and down yeah. inside 15 feet yeah. and makes the putt. Yeah. And similar to Morikawa's bad putting, well, if you're hitting iron shots to short, yeah. like to four feet, well, you're not going to gain any strokes putting yeah. because you're making four footers. Yeah. Or if you're, f- or if you're first in gers, you're going to be on the green yep. way more, more two further points. away. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yep. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. News. Next. News. Uh, start with this one. I posted the video. I don't know if you guys wa- watched it. That uh, the course that has the reciprocal membership with St. Andrews. I did watch that. Yeah. yeah. Did anyone else watch it? I watched it. And it's. It's just some random course in like the badlands of Australia, Australia called Opal Fields Golf Club. There's not a blade of grass on the entire course. No, it's just desert and then like tar greens. I did not see that. And Insane. is it mats? And off it's the tee or what is it? No, you, you bring have a your mat. own like little mat yeah. and you throw it down and put your ball on yeah. it and hit it off that. But they did it because they have an opal mine. Yeah, so and the St. Andrews made a joke about wanting to own an opal mine, so they. Yeah, gave him the deed to it, but if you re- look into it further, it's not for the actual old course. It's just for like the oh, the yeah. other course yeah. there that they can go oh, play. Gotcha. But it's still, thought it was still kind of funny that that's. I wonder what that's. I don't really understand why it wouldn't be for the old course. Like how many people from Australia are traveling all the way t- <laughs> that are members yeah. there, right? Yeah. Like how yeah. many members does that Opal Fields even have? Seven. <laughs> they're, like, yeah. limited, they're limited to a hundred. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like it's probably not even. It's probably just like. You go to those small towns of Saskatchewan. You just put the old, the old Sandy. fin in the in yeah. the box and yeah. go play all day. Chaplain, yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, so that was kind of a neat story. Uh, next, the another neat one: the Sunshine Tour, the Zanico Masters, won by Robinson oh, yeah. Chinoy. Chinoy, yeah, from Zimbabwe. From Zimbabwe, so he basically caddied his whole life. Uh, has been grinding out as a golfer on the. Uh, whatever the mini tours are over there mm-hmm. for a bunch of years, won a bunch, has only played like two or three actual world golf ranking events and has finally got his first win on the Sunshine Tour, so a bit of a feel-good story yeah, there. Yeah, the, video, the nice. video of him winning that was awesome. Yeah. Just like rushing. Speaking of rushing the green, it's exactly what his boys did. Yeah. Like Howard University. <laughs> um, nice little bronze globe trophy. Yeah. 
Something to put on his mantle. Oh, yeah. Sure. That thing will be front hmm. and center. Uh, next, big one. Tiger Woods officially out of the U.S. Open. Not that big. Everybody kind of knew that was going to happen. But The guy's done. He, he's done this year. He's, he, he's done. Probably aiming for PNC now or whatever the term I just want to know if he's going to. PNC hmm. Park, whatever they if, call it. If he's going to play champions and how well he's going to do there. I just want to know if. He'll probably take a He'll be cart like a coward. He probably will. Yep. I think he will um, at this point. What about that video of him and Scotty that kind of came out where he's like, "Don't take divots." I don't take divots when I'm when he's striping it. Yeah. yeah. You know what? It warmed my heart as a non-diviter. <laughs> as a non-diviter, that warmed my heart because I actually, me and Knoop were talking about this. I hit my irons very well today too. Yeah, you played really good. It's just like there's. He's gonna have a year. Yeah. And I if he kind of putted, not bad today. Times. He didn't make a single putt on Saturday. But. Not one. No. Not one. We'll see. Elkridge is going to be the test. Once I get off the Hillcrest, we all know what how my game travels. Yeah, but it's and a scramble. It very well. so it's, and it's and still. you've tell. played there a billion times now. Yeah. Elkridge? You should, yeah, you yeah. should feel comfortable. Except Aspen. I don't even know what that course is. I, so. Yeah. If we, Chase if is going to put on Aspen. I don't even know. Yeah, what Chase is going to put us on Birch yeah. Tamarack loop every time, perfect. and I'm never going to see Aspen That's again. Perfect. Because yeah. the one time we played Aspen in the in the match play the last time, we won uh, yeah, four we were, and three. Yeah, we didn't we even play played, the last. Yeah. We didn't oh, even play we, the last three holes. We, we got, got through three, three or four, like four holes, yeah. I think. Yeah. Aspen's not good, anyways. <laughs> um, <laughs> next, uh, <laughs> it's got some good holes for sure. Yeah. Maybe too much of a Waska Sioux feel. Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, Corn Ferry Tour, the Advent Health Championship, won by uh, Grayson Murray, of all people. Yeah. He, wow. He needed double to win on 18, and I think he doubled. He seems like the kind of guy that would just take all the strokes given to him <laughs> <laughs> in that situation, yeah. eh? Yeah. Like just Great ding, chip it the other way yeah. kind of thing. Um, <laughs> nice little logo, the Advent Health logo trophy. Uh, ben Silverman was 53rd. And uh, Will Bateman missed the cut. So those are the only Canadians there. No rush. And then uh, LPGA champions, Canadian Open and DP World Tour all had no tournaments. So wrapped hmm. up the news real quick. Yep. Uh, pick recap. Not much of a battle here, but uh, no. Matty B won the week. Oh, so did I? So the standings are Matty B 20, Bronell 15, Harv 13, Canoop 12. Matty B had Rom 50th, Kitty Yama 4th. Scott, 29th, and Mito Pereira, 18th for a 25 average. Mito was a big Sunday for you. Yeah. Kitty Yama, hey, that guy's licensed I'm to kill. I'm not giving that guy out ever again. Uh, I'm just going to point this out. I know we are not doing best bets right now, but I said Kitty Yama was top T30. Easily made it. Yeah, he did. Hmm. Good for yeah. you. Uh, Knup was second. He had Scheffler second. Fleetwood, 18th. Wyndham Clark missed the cut, 77. Adrian Moronk, 40th for a 34 average. Bronell was third. He had Sam Burns miss the cut, 77. Keegan Bradley, 29th. Brooks Kepka first. And Dustin Johnson, 55th for a 41 average. Imagine Burns missing the cut. That guy is dead to me. When we picked him for our majors pool, too. Yeah. That's, that Friday loser. might be one of the most embarrassing displays of golf by someone yeah, that that was in the history of golf. Yep. What did he shoot? From a Callaway Friday. guy, too. Was it like eight? Or was it 10, maybe? Yeah, maybe it was 80. It was, was bad. 80. And then I was last this week. I had uh, Cam Smith ninth. And then Tom, Siwoo, and Gooch all missed the cut. So I had a 60 average. Oof. I just can't believe I got Brooks in the second round last week. I s- said, I'm between Brooks and DJ, and you guys just all passed on him. Well, I don't picked. know why I passed on him. What do you mean you already picked? You picked Rom instead of him. Well, that makes perfect sense. Does it? Rom's in the top tier. You can get any one of those good guys. So huh? could have got the, Cantlay there. You could have got the best player in the world. So I, okay. I'm, I don't fault him. But at he all didn't get the best player in majors. But I had the guy who just won the Masters. Yeah, but yeah. it's a it's a huge <laughs> drop off from Brooks to the next guy in the twenty six to fifty tier. That's what I'm saying. It's a massive drop off. Well, yeah, if you know he's gonna win, sure. Well, no, I don't know. I had a good feeling he was gonna be up there. Look at his. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hindsight for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, mm. I, yeah. I, I completely with agree you. with you. <laughs> but it's not that. It's not that I just am bringing it up now. I brought it up on the pod last week and said, "Why aren't you guys taking him?" Nobody did. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 Well, um, I'll take the point. <laughs> <laughs> Who's uh? You got a preview? 
I do, yeah. Uh, we got Charles Schwab challenge this week. Colonial Country Club in Fort Worth, Texas. Par 70 playing 7,209 yards. Uh, this tournament's been linked with Ben Hogan uh, f- kind of since its inception. He won the four of the first seven events here uh, and never finished worse than fourth in those other three that he didn't win. So pretty impressive resume here coming from this golf course. Uh, Sam Burns returns to defend his uh, playoff victory last year uh, against Scotty Scheffler. No one here has won back-to-back ever other than Hogan. Uh, fairly short this week, so 24 of the top 50 playing and 44 of the top 100. Uh, and then, oh yeah, the winner of this uh, tournament has starting, started to receive a restored vehicle. I think this is the fourth year that they've kind of done it. Uh, mm-hmm. So this year is a 1973 Bronco is what they're giving away. Like so OJ's? <laughs> Maybe. I didn't see what color it is. I didn't see a picture of it, but... Mm. I think Scotty yeah. Scheffler's winning this. They week. still got that big old bastard trophy. Yep. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And then put the jacket on you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we also do have another tournament this week. Uh, live. Live, tr- <laughs> live uh, Washington. So they are playing at live Trump DC, National. isn't it? Yeah. Trump National Washington. Uh, 7,479 <laughs> 7, yards, par 72. Uh, I couldn't find much, to be honest, about this place. So. Uh, the course no hosted doy. the senior PGA in 2017, uh, won by Bernard Langer. Uh, and then the last little fun fact, uh, this this property is managed by Eric Trump. So just, mm. thought, I just, thought, that, just thought that was kind of neat. Another so fun. fun. Yeah. Speaking of uh, <laughs> all the there. way back to when Harv said that uh, Brooksy's living the best life. He literally will show up the day before, not practice whatsoever, no. and just play. He'll probably, probably finish pull, pull T34 Jason. or whatever. But it's week. not like that's going to play three it's rounds. Not competitive golf. He's going to just he's going to pull a Jason Day this week. Go out and watch professional golfers play golf. That's all it is. Yes, because it's not like a tournament. The only shitty part for him is that he has to show up and play three rounds instead of two. Because the PGA Tour, you can if you mail in tournaments, you only have to play two rounds. He's got to mm-hmm. mail in three. Yeah, you know, you'll get to watch it all on the CW like, this weekend. Yeah. Well, maybe, <laughs> you're, maybe you're allowed to well, do it. Was, you uh, oh, I agree. Yeah, they cut, yeah. 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 They cut yeah. it off for infomercials or something like that. <laughs> again, oh, they said that they won't be doing that again. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> well, yeah. apparently. yeah, yeah we'll, we'll see. see. Family. Uh, food, uh, so Maddie yeah. B is up first. Oh, this is a tough one. I could only see Svensson and Taylor for Canadians. So. This know. is a there tough one. I think it is just those two. It's yeah. a three-horse race here for Forgiven. first overall pick. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. a one-horse race. I don't think it's a one-horse race, but we'll see based off of who I pick. I'm picking Cam Davis. Yeah, the he's one in the top, He's inside the top 50. 49th in the what? world. What? Yep. 68th on this. 49th in the world. Ooh, that's Does that mean jump. Danny McCarthy also moved in the top 50? Nope. No. Oh, okay, I'll take Danny McCarthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was number one on my list, yeah. So how does that even happen, though? McCarthy also finished very well this week. How did Davis go from 68 inside Davis the top 50? Davis was like fourth. McCarthy was not even close to fourth. Was he? McCarthy was 29th. Yes, so not even close to fourth then. Okay. Davis is 49th in the world. Okay. Uh, can McCarthy's 54th. Oh, wait. I yeah, he's getting there. Down. He did jump. Okay. should write that down. Okay. Canoop's next. Hayden Buckley. Who? Hayden Buckley was with uh, who on the, in the final round? I don't uh, know. He did a no look putt though. Yeah, he was playing with a uh, a top player in the world, I think, yesterday. So, is I'll this Ryan out. Palmer's other Texas course, or is he just good at that other one? He's better at the other one, but I think he's okay here. <laughs> but he's better at the other one. Yeah, definitely better at the other one because. <laughs> That was an absolute no-brainer last time. Uh, maybe I'll get him next round if you guys don't take him. I'm going to take St- Scott Stallings. Nice. He's playing well. Okay. He missed the cut. He was good last no, year here. He's playing pretty decent playing golf right now. Playing well. He yes. made me look maybe. like an idiot when I said he was going to win here again soon, and he just didn't. He's fresh. Uh, I'll take Min Woo Lee then. Well... I'm going to ah. take Min Woo Lee because that's the first guy written on my list. Ah, but. blast. 61 in the world, yep. Okay. I'm going to give Bronel Billy Horschel. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> just Fuck shaking his head. Fuck that stupid. You don't want. You didn't want him. No, I never want him. <laughs> I went from getting Norn all the time to getting Horschel all the time. Well, yeah, Norn's outside the top fifty, or else I would have yeah, given you Norn. I'm aware. <laughs> Does that land on me? Yeah. Yeah. Christian Bezwiedenhut. Oh. Yeah, it's a good pick. My guy. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> I'm between a few guys. I'm going to give a guy away, I think. Um, who's in s- who's third in the standings? Me. You are? Okay. Can't give you Sep. He's red hot. What a round he had Sunday. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's playing good golf. How many birdies did he make? Eight. Yeah. Uh, Harv's going to take my guy. Damn it. No, I'm not. I think it is. you are. Guess your list, I'll tell you. TBD. Um, He's on your list. Just one sec here. Yeah, we'll wait for you. Oh, want to click? Do you want to yeah, click? Whatever you, you want to do. Uh, I'm giving Harv Lucas Herbert. Okay. Uh, click or whistle? Okay, I guess I better find a second <laughs> guy now. coming off his finish this week. <laughs> All right, Harv, take him so I can find a new guy. Yeah, played well. Um, between two there, but I'll take uh, oh, Steven Yeager. Years. Yeah, see, I told you you were going to take him. <laughs> <laughs> told you. It's too easy. Uh, I don't even know why this guy has good odds, but I guess he was good at... I think he's not actually that bad. Ben on. Yeah. He's kind of been hot They've and been cold. They've been giving him good odds a lot lately. Well, yeah. he did finish 14th at the Baron Nelson. He lost his card, so... Can you? He's lost his card. He's finished T- T45 five of the last six tournaments. I think if I, win a week. if I remember correctly, looking at the scores the last couple of years, it's... Not super low. Okay. And? I don't think this guy's going to do well. Who am I giving? Me. Well, for sure? Am I? Yeah. That for sure? And then I will <laughs> give <laughs> Canoop, yeah. Uh, I'm going to give Matty B. Harris English. Okay. I did that last time and he won the week. Um, I'm going to take... I kind of want to take Spence in, but I don't want to jinx him. Smart. Could take you Brendan Todd. Did. He was third last yeah, You year. just did, so you might as well take him now. Yeah, it might you did by up. saying yeah. yes. It might so this is a chance to overturn. No, it's yes. not. This is it's like not what we talked about earlier. How is it a jinx? I'm saying because we even brought it up as a potential yep. jinx, it's yep. now a jinx. So well, we I said he was in the field. Is that a jinx too? Yes. No. Well, taking him because you think he's going to do good. Like, that's a jinx. Like, no. we, we're too deep into this. You almost can't say nothing. I'm taking Palmer. Nice. Uh, I got to give Canoop. Might as well give me someone good. We'll keep it interesting. Here. Someone good. I'm giving you. Mm, give me Ryan Fox or Cageley. No way Fox is playing in this event. Uh, I'm pretty sure he is. How about Siwoo Kim? <sighs> I guess so. Best bets. Is that it? Yep. Uh, let me pull up mine. Siwoo Kim is playing. Yep. I have a, I have a good best oh, bet. Shit. Maybe okay. two. I'm uh, on a cold streak, so we're not so using mine anyway. We mentioned Cam Davis being a unanimous first overall pick if, if he was available. Uh, I got him just straight up top ten for five to one. So that's that's pretty good. Not bad. I also have a Cam Davis and Denny McCarthy parlay top twenties. I don't know what it pays, but I kind of like those two guys this week. Okay. Uh, right. I'll go with Let's mine. Just wait, because yeah, we're not going to use it. Three six five has a uh, boost. A boost of <laughs> Michael Block <laughs> to make, the, to make cut. the cut. No, top twenty finish, twelve to one. <laughs> <laughs> Funny how we no. both said make the cut. There's a zero percent <laughs> exactly. chance he makes the cut at this event. What's his 0%. make the cut number? Uh, make the cut. They might not even have him on here. He is coming off oh, an no, emotional. Uh, Roller coaster. Yeah. 1.53. No. I mean, I got a lower odds one bet here. But so do I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's plus 253. <laughs> that's plus 253. 1.53 is 253. Yes. Yeah, $153 back on a $100 bet. Yeah. Plus 253, which is higher than mine, which plays into what Canoop did for Harris English. 
the lowest tournament round over 64 plus 240. That's what I had down to. No. Yeah. Same one. <laughs> same one plus 240. I like that bet. So there won't two, be a round tie- lower than 65. Yeah. Correct. Two tie saying. wasn't one last year. Two tie we all tied. We have to take it. I think Scheffler shoots 63 someday. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm pretty sure <laughs> like someday in the last year there wasn't a round of 64. Like 65 was the lowest last year and I think the year before that there was only 3. Hmm. Can yeah, you parlay that days. with the Cam Davis and no. Denny Top? And my point? other one I don't was think over so. 35 <laughs> players parlay under with Block par. missing the cut. I don't think there's the a other par- one I don't think over that's 35 p- players under par for plus 125. <laughs> <laughs> We need a win, you guys. I don't even know what that is. We do. <laughs> we need a win. Okay, hold on here. I got to find it. Well, bet a Scheffler top 30 then. Okay, <laughs> so suck. do you want to see? He what might that pays? suck. <laughs> to make the top cut? 30? No, top 20 or top 40? Top 20. Uh, 1.33. What's top Let's just 40 get on pay? the board, boys. What's Let's top 40? 1.12. <laughs> <laughs> top 40. Let's just do it. Just to see what it feels like again. So we're going block? I don't. I don't think we can parlay with a make the cut. No missed cut. So if you bet a thousand, you Can't. win one hundred and twelve bucks. Is that correct? Say that again. If you bet a thousand, you win one hundred and twelve. Michael, hey, let's bet a million. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Matty right. B and Canoe might. What be about able to Michael do Block? That, 200, <laughs> 200 to one to make a hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> back to back. Weeks. <laughs> that should be way higher. <laughs> yeah, it should be a thousand. Like one. just numbers million alone. alone. Yeah. <laughs> that should be like fifty thousand like to one. One point five million to one to get a hole in one. Yeah, it's something insane. It's I'm over a million. That's, that's, one this it's year, over that's a million. not. That's not. Well, PGA guys. I mean, he's yes. arg- but arguable there, but top forty finish plus two forty. But yeah, no, you cannot parlay it together. Mm. Uh right. so what did we decide? Uh two tie, we all tie? That so makes plus sense. two f- two forty. Makes sense. I guess so. Yeah. I'll bet it. I mean should I bet it or should be I di- not jinx it? Yeah, you should bet it. She'll be yeah. done Thursday, but it's a fun one. What do you mean should you bet it? You have to bet it. <laughs> what else what are we doing here if you're not betting <laughs> it? <Yeah. laughs> what are we doing if we're not doing that? Uh you guys got anything else to talk about? Nope. Uh, best score? What was that? Yeah, I got it. Hopefully get out for a round of golf this week. I don't know. <laughs> if it'll yeah, happen, but yeah. Yeah, it's going to be... How many you got on the table? I have zero this week. Oh, <laughs> one Friday. That's it. Yeah, right. Wife's gone this week. I got a parent. Really? Tough break. Yep. Coaching baseball. Well, it'll probably be canceled Wednesday, but... Yeah, we'll see. It's not raining outside again? currently. Big forecast guy. So Big. you made fun of me for wearing shorts this morning because of the forecast. Yeah. And now you're saying ball is going to be canceled Wednesday, two days from now. <laughs> <laughs> because of the forecast. Yeah. So? Oh. <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> are you a forecast guy or are you not? I thought he was a radar guy. No, I'm, a, I'm like the day of. <laughs> <They're>, they <laughs> claim not they're both radar guys. In advance. <laughs> How's right. the radar looking? Have you checked 17 times during this pod? No, I didn't check at all. We're about to get hammered here, I think. Uh, rain oh, st- rain starts within the next hour. It'll fizzle. Oh, it's wow. <laughs> oh, no, she fizzling. She ain't fizzling. Not with that radar. <laughs> no, ain't fizzling. Just got to check. Just got to check. that yeah. before. Just got to check see where the pivot is here. Uh, Ooh, 219 degrees. Tomorrow, we'll be able to see some uh, weather for Elkridge. Yeah, I was gonna. You no, know what? Wh- this we- morning, already weather. Yeah, I was gonna say this oh, really? morning. Oh yeah, fourteen days. This morning, yeah. I almost made the comment to you on hole ten on the green. I was gonna say, have you looked at the Elkridge radar or weather forecast yet? And I just decided not. Before or after <laughs> I birdied that hole? <laughs> uh, on the green, so before. Yes. <laughs> and what's the weather saying right now? No, it's okay. Here. I think. Just like okay. You're not gonna look at it, or I'm looking right now. Yeah, it takes a little s- second or two here to get pull it up. 14 day forecast. Oh yeah, 23 each day. Ooh, overnights. No matter. 12 We're in the hotel. 12. Oh. 12. 12. 12. What's 12. the wind? Well, it does matter because we're teeing off on Saturday at 8 a.m. Reasonable wind. <laughs> Re- wait, what what are you, what are you reasonable wind. Reasonable up there. <laughs> yeah, wind doesn't matter at Elkridge. Not yeah, a lick. It matters. It yeah. don't matter. It does. My favorite was last year or the year before when Canoop just 
always think he knew where the wind was coming from. <laughs> He doesn't Swirling. even know it at the ho- at our home course. <laughs> <laughs> he <doesn't laughs> He's uh, like, yeah, it's in off the right here. I'm just like, hey, there's no way you know. <laughs> I'm going to bring a compass this year <laughs> just so I know. Uh, all right, you guys got anything else? No, we'll wrap it up. Yeah, okay. Harp? No. All right, until next week, it's time for us to hit the clubhouse. <laughs>